See what's new in RAD Studio 10.3. In RAD Studio 10.3, we have updated the IDE UI and UX. RAD Studio Rio includes a new light theme and an updated dark theme with an emphasis on usability for long periods of time. RAD Studio Rio has an improved look and feel of the main window and several key dialogues for a more modern style with a focus on readability and clarity. The IDE and Project Options dialogues have a cleaner look and new categories have been introduced in the Options tree. Options dialogues can be searched using a new search box in the title bar. The Get It Package Manager UI has also been updated, showing items in the scrolling list instead of pages. In RAD Studio 10.3, we have made a number of enhancements to the Delphi language. This includes a core change that provides far more flexibility in the declaration of local variables. The new inline variable declaration syntax allows you to declare the variable or constant directly in the code and assign a value to it directly in the same statement. You can declare a variable in a nested block as a loop counter or directly inside a block, with visibility and lifetime limited to that nested block. Variables declared inline also benefit from type inference. You don't need to specify a type for an inline variable with a direct assignment, as it can get inferred from the value assigned to it. With the new VCL High DPI Image List Control in RAD Studio Rio, developers building new VCL Windows applications or updating existing applications for high DPI displays can fully support multi-resolution, pixel-perfect images on all controls, as well as any custom drawing requiring scaled images for multiple resolution monitors. This can be achieved by using the Image Collection component together with the Virtual Image List component. In RAD Studio Rio, we've also expanded the number of Windows APIs that VCL and FireMonkey developers can use in their applications. This includes a number of key WinRT APIs and recent Windows 10 APIs, including a new ready-to-use component for enabling in-app purchases and trial mode in your Windows 10 Store apps. C++ Builder and RAD Studio 10.3 introduce an updated Clang Enhanced Compiler with C++ 17 support for Windows 32-bit. Part of a progressive compiler upgrade, you can now use the latest C++ language features for better code, more compiler optimizations giving you faster code, and make use of more third-party C++ libraries to reduce your coding. The compiler now speaks a much newer language standard, and the RTL and STL are updated. This means greatly improved compatibility when taking any C++ library and using it with C++ Builder. C++ Builder 10.3 uses an updated 2018 version of the Dinkumware STL for both Windows 32-bit and Windows 64-bit. There are some great new features in C++17 that will enhance your productivity and your code. Also new in 10.3 is Error Insight for C++. C++ code completion is now asynchronous, meaning you can keep typing as it calculates completion results in the background and use a C query with the language server protocol. Code completion for C++ for Windows using the new updated Clang Enhanced Compiler is not only significantly faster, but also provides better results. RAD CD 10.3 includes a number of new capabilities designed to support the use of native controls together with styled FireMonkey controls on the same Android form. Android Z Order support in RAD Studio Rio provides support for using FireMonkey style controls such as buttons, labels, and checkboxes with natively rendered controls on the same form. In 10.3, we support native presentation for T Calendar, T Edit, T Switch, and T MultiView on Android. Native controls such as T Web Browser, T Map View, and others will now use Material Design Theme on devices running Android 5.0 or later. With RAD Studio Rio, you can also build Android applications that meet Google's new requirement of targeting API Level 26. In RAD Studio 10.3, we've expanded RAD Server's capabilities. This includes the ability to map HTTP requests to server methods not only based on the URL and the HTTP method, but also on other HTTP request parameters like the content type. The server offers ready-to-use components for mapping database queries to URL resources, offering direct response JSON production with no additional coding required by the developer. Here you can see a very simple server-side application with its components, no actual code, and the resulting JSON response in a browser. Visit Embarcadero.com today to download a trial.